I'm Miss Therese. Welcome back to Art with Miss Therese. Um, today we're going to, my puppy just came in. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll see her later. Um, anyway, today we're going to um, uh, kind of change things up a little bit with some oil pastels. This is my box of oil pastels. And I hope that, you know, you gotta simmer down. Um, I hope that uh, by now you've had a chance to get the oil pastels, hopefully. If not, you can go back to this video and um, uh, pl play it again. So if you don't have anything, you could use color crayons or just watch and, and enjoy. We're going to take something we did last time, which was our mug or our cup, mug or our cup, and um, had that down a little bit too far. And uh, so we're going to uh, turn this into something with oil pastel and make it really colorful and give you a lot of opportunity to be your own designer. So if you still have your drawings from last week and you saved them or you've been practicing and have some even more, have some even better ones, this is kind of going to be my sort of start to turning this into something color, colorful. So we're going to go from black and white to oil pastel color. And uh, again, if you don't have the oil pastels yet or you only have color crayons, um, that's absolutely fine. You can so do we're going to start as usual. You guys out there know I like my borders, but you don't have to put, on, put one on. That's entirely optional. Remember, I'm using the heel of my hand here, keeping it flat on my surface, and just pulling that oil pastel along the edge, and that gives me a relatively straight line. You could use a ruler if you want. You could make wiggly lines like we've talked about before. It's, it's entirely up to you. And again, I'm moving my paper like this, just makes it a little bit easier for me. So there. And so I'm thinking your paper could go this way. It could go, it could go vertically or it could go horizontally. That's entirely up to you. I think I might do this one vertically. Now I'm going to turn my paper like we did before and I'm going to do that ellipse. I don't know if you remember that, but that ellipse when we're working with looking at something that's round and you're looking at it from an angle, it's going to look it's going to have like an ellip elliptical shape to it. And I'm going to, again, just kind of using this as a little bit of a reference, which I can do, or whatever's in my head. Um, I'm going to pull the sides down like this. Make it nice and even. Uh, your sides could, could go straight down if you want it. it could, they could go in further if you want it. It's up to you. And again, like we talked about, instead of a line straight across here, it's going to look more real. You have a little curve to it. And we're going to give it a place to be. Put that little horizon line in there. It's sort of, even though it's the edge of the table, it's kind of like a horizon, horizon line. And again, um, I always forget to mention this. I like to use white oil pastels because they're so forgiving um, that if I make a line I don't really like, I can come back in again with a white oil pastel and put a color over it, and it works. So last time I put tea in my in my mug but this time I don't know this time I think I might have a little maybe a little coffee um, or a little hot chocolate so I'm gonna just add that little edge there so I know that there is something in my cup like this and again like I say I'm outlining in white it was a little short on this end so I just extended it and again that's why I really like the white oil pastel and I've got kind of a design there I did a design here with polka dots but you know what what if I, and again, wrap your design around your cup. Remember, it's, it's round. And you want those curved lines to wrap around so it will make some sense when you look at it. If your lines turn out straight, that's okay too. The main thing is, I just want you to really have a good time learning about oil pastels. Because you can never stop learning, all right? I'm, I'm always learning something. So that's kind of the basics of mine. I'm going to like we've done before in a previous oil pastel, I'm going to just kind of solid in some white because I'm going to add some lighter colors. Um, let me show you what I mean by that. If I do yellow like this, it's kind of hard to see. But if I have the white underneath it and I decide I want to do yellow, it's going to really pop that out. Okay. It's going to really pop that out. And let's see, I think I'm going to maybe make another one like that. And again, notice I'm moving my paper. So when I color, 
just gives me a little bit better bite on that on that space it gives me a little more control but again you don't have to and then also remember I'm left-handed so you're gonna be if you're right-handed working from the other side of the paper unless you're ambidextrous um, which means you use both hands which I think is really cool so if you hear a little noise in the background my two dogs are playing um, it's raining outside and so they're they're kind of like having two little kids in the house so I hope you don't mind the noise I kind of like it because I really love my dogs now here's here's like tons of I call them yummy colors I'm feeling like there's a little different shade uh, or color of um, yellow it's a little more orangey and maybe let's see what else could I do for that design let's see I always like kind of spontaneously sort of picking out colors and see and seeing what works you could plan yours if you wanted to um, but today I'm just sort of into kind of seeing what what works best spontaneously so kind of do this I'm just kind of building this and I'll probably blend it now maybe for contrast what if I put a darker color Oh, that's kind of fun. When you're doing something like this, you can kind of imagine yourself maybe designing mugs or cups, and somebody's got to do that. There's a lot of things that you can do with illustration or some of the skills that hopefully you're, you're learning, and I think teaching yourself too, that who knows, maybe you could turn it into something that you do for your job. I, I love my job. I am so lucky that I have it, and I'm so lucky that I get to do it. I don't know where I put my brush, so I'm just gonna move things with my hand, like that. And maybe up here, I'll echo that same sort of color. And again, yours could be way more colorful. You could put, you could do a scene on this, you could do trees on this, you could do little cars, you could do a sunshine, you could make a winter scene, a summer scene, or just do stripes. Or it could even be just a solid color. That is entirely your choice. Now what I really like about having white, especially with this blue, it kind of adds sort of a fun, look, can you see that? Mm -hmm. It kind of adds sort of a fun kind of brightness to it. And I might be speeding part of this one up too. Here. It adds kind of a fun sort of brightness to it. Um, oh my gosh, look what happens when I when I kind of go over things again with that white. Ooh, I really like that effect. And let's see, I think maybe I'll jump over here, do a little something different here. I'll get my, I'm kind of feeling like coffee, but you might feel like hot chocolate. You might feel like tea. You might feel like just like hot water. It's, that's, that's up to you, even though you can't drink it. So I'm going to do my swirl here. I'm going to do my swirl here. And again, notice I've got my, my paper kind of turned. And just makes it a little bit easier for me to do that. But I'm, I'm sticking with that same sort of elliptical shape. I was looking for a darker brown, but I found kind of a rust. So I think I'm going to do the swirl like that. And we might do like a little bit of blending here. It's turning out a little bit redder than I thought, but that's okay. I kind of like that. I'm going to come back in here with the white and I bring that swirl back, kind of, kind of back out again. But you know, your, what, whatever's in your cup, it could be purple. It could be pink. 
Let's remember, you're the artist. You're the one that's kind of deciding how this is going to go. Now I'm going to fill in the back side of the cup there. I'm going to show you a little trick here. So that's like that. Now notice the little white edge we've got. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to really define that with the white. So it really, it really kind of sticks out that way. And I want to I love this word. I want to beef up the, the, the cup handle. Kind of reminds me of something my dad might say. Uh, I'm going to add, I'm going to add a little, just a little extra color to it. Now I didn't fill it in all the way. What I did is I just layered the color on. And so now I can take my finger and kind of blend it to sort of make it a little bit more interesting. And I might do that same thing. You know, it, when your oil pastels break, I forgot to tell, you, to tell you guys about this, but when your oil pastels break, you can still use them. Um, you can unpeel them. Um, and remember, you can hold them like your pencil. If you want to layer your colors in like this, like we talked about when we were using our pencil, you can hold it that way. Remember, there is no right or wrong way to hold a pencil or a brush as long as you get the results you want. So, there's that. So that's kind of my basic cup. I might, you know, I think I'm gonna come back in and repeat what I did there. And again, I'm just layering some color in. I'm moving my paper because it makes it a little bit easier. And just kind of moving that around. That kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. Sort of like that. Now for the background. So this, if this is our table, I might do I might do a solid color on this, but you could do you could do any kind of design you want on this. So I'm going to come back in, and I'm feeling like I need to see a little green. And again, here's just like a little technique for you. I'm just layering this in like this. It's almost like I'm painting with my oil pastels. And I could leave it just like this, too, with that kind of fun sort of effect in the background, okay? And then what I can do is I'm gonna turn the paper the other way and I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna go the other direction to make it, to fill it in solid. You could put a design on your table if you wanted. I'm just gonna do mine solid. Okay, so I've got this kind of layered in, and now I'm thinking I might, I might come back and, you can hear my dog in the background there. I might just, just for the heck of it, add just another little layer of color here. Now you can kind of a dark blue. And again, I could leave the pattern like we have right now, or the texture, or how the surface looks. Texture can be smooth, it can be bumpy, it can be rough, it can be, you know, slick. It's up to you. That's, that's kind of a nice, sort of looks like it's sitting out in grass, but I'm gonna come back in and I, for some reason today, am really enjoying blending. Now, I got a little bit of green there, so when I'm done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and go over that again. And that's the fun thing, again, with oil pastels, is that you can pretty much you can kind of manipulate them. Another dog just walked in. It's going to be one of those videos, guys, where the dogs are apparently going to be present. I sigh. I don't know if any of you have any pets out there, but um, I sure love mine. Even if sometimes they make me a little bit crazy. So that's where I got a little bit of green there. And I'm going to come back in again with the white and kind of correct that a little bit. Come back in with a little bit of that orange. All right. And I like the variation. You could do everything like completely a solid color without the variation. We've got some like, like the different colors kind of showing up here. That's, that's your decision. And then this part here, I'm going to color in and I'm going to have some fun with the background here. But if you wanted to, you could put a window with a little outdoor scene there. 
I'm just going to do just something sort of plain. So um, that's, that's what I'm feeling today, but you do it how you want to do it. So I was thinking about this, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pretend that I'm at my kitchen table, all right? And I'm going to do two lines like this, okay? And then another line like that, and one like that, okay? So now I've got, there's, there's, there's my wall, here's a window. And out, outside that window, here is, remember those Y trees we did? I might do a couple of Y trees. You could do scribble trees if you wanted. But I just kind of want to give that feeling that I'm looking out the window, enjoying my coffee. And um, today it's raining outside. I think I might make it look a little bit stormy that way. So I'm going to do a little bit of... Got a little bit of purple going on. I'm going to make some purple trees out there. It's kind of fun. And again, we're just doing, we're doing like the Y trees. So I'm making a picture inside a picture almost. And let's see, do I have some gray? I've got some gray. So again, I'm moving my, I'm moving my paper and I'm gonna kind of make it look like it's a little bit of a stormy day. So I'm gonna fill gray in here. You don't have to use gray, you could use blue. You could use orange. Um, remember to use white underneath colors that are lighter if you're on a darker surface. It just shows up better. But if you like the effect where it doesn't show up so much and you just want it light, that's absolutely fine too. I think this is going to be kind of winter, so I'm not going to have any leaves on the tree. I'm just kind of layering this in. This is just to give you an idea more than, than exactly copying what I'm doing, although you can do that. But if you've got another way of doing it and you want to take some of the, the ideas of how we do things and, and create your own, that's the best. So, I'm gonna have my brush next time. Can you see those okay? Mm -hmm. okay they, look, they look all right. Mm -hmm. So let's see, let's do, I'm gonna do like a little winter scene out here. So I'm gonna come in with, and we've done this before. I'm gonna do that kind of, where I did the little lines that turned into grass. It gets smaller as they get further away. And I just started with white. And I'm going to come back in with some sort of tan, like sometimes the grass, just like the trees, the leaves on the trees change, sometimes grass will get a little brownish in the winter. So I'm just going to add, it's kind of fun, you can sort of see it start to happen here. I'll leave that out in case I decide I want to use that again. And I might add a little bit of this color in there, like that. And maybe that moss green that we used here might be fun to just kind of echo that color there. So I'm kind of looking out the window and using a little blending here. Or it could be a picture on the wall. It could be either. But it kind of breaks up the picture a little bit, which I kind of like. Um, you don't have to have your cup exactly in the middle. Um, you can have it off to the side a little bit to make your picture a little bit more interesting. And so, someday we're going to talk about um, put it where we place things on the paper and how much control and how much fun you can have with that. So this is going to be my frame, be my window frame. Okay, again, I'm going over that white. Okay, and again, notice I'm still turning my paper. I really like to be able to have the flexibility to move things around. And I'm, again, probably going a lot faster on this than you probably would. I'm going to come back in here with some darker colors like this, just to kind of add a little, a little more body to it out there, make it a little bit more interesting. 
And I think I'm going to probably darken my trees up a little bit. Um, what do we have here? I might go over the purple with a little bit of brown. Is that showing up, Luke? Can, can you like really see the trees? Does it show up more on the on this than it does on the paper? Yes. And you'll be able to kind of like enhance that. So there's there's kind of a little winter scene there. I did leave a little bit of space when I used the gray, and I could come back in, but I, I kind of like, I could bring that a little bit closer. But sometimes I sort of like having a little bit of the background paper kind of peek through, just to kind of keep things kind of nice and interesting. So, and then, of course, here I've got my wall here. You know what? I'm going to make my wall a bright, Blue. Uh, I'm going to go back over it again with some light green. I just really have fun kind of blending and mixing the colors. And you can do the same. And don't forget, you can always pause these videos, go back, kind of look at them again. Uh, I have a tendency, once I start something like this, I, I love kind of messing around with it. And um, sometimes it's really hard. It's hard to stop putting colors in. My dad used to call that noodling something, and he would go, he would tell me, yeah, I was noodling it, which meant that I was like overdoing it, but it's kind of fun to just sort of play with it. I'm going to come back in with the blue again, but I really kind of like that effect. It makes the background a little bit interesting, like this. Like I say, adds a little body to it. So, oh my gosh, there we go. And now, like we did before, I'm going to indicate that, that my beverage, whether it's hot chocolate or coffee or whatever, is a little bit hot. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to add some steam. Now I'm going to do these ones more solid and make them kind of decorative, like this. And maybe some of the steam's coming out of the center, some of the steam is coming to the side. It's even going over the window there. But just, just so that there's a little bit of an indication that that beverage is nice and hot. And it adds kind of a nice decoration to the, to the, to the, uh, to the drawing. So uh, maybe too, what I might do is just kind of down in this corner, just add a little bit of white just to kind of balance things out a little bit. I have a lot of things in this picture going on up here. It's a little more solid down here. So just to balance that out, this is kind of the magic of, of oil pastel. I don't know if you can hear, but my dog is now in back in here chewing a bone. Thank you, Sai, for the background. And then at the beginning, when we were doing the um, pencil drawings, we put our name down first. This one, I like to wait towards the end. And I'm going to put my initials here, just in white, and leave it, I could leave it at that, and I could also put the year, like that. So that, that's going to indicate, and it also adds a little bit of interest in that corner. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. So when we took last videos. You know, my son keeps telling me to lift this up. I'm going to get better at this. Thank you, Luke. Um, we took the last video's uh, pencil drawing of a mug or a cup and the things we learned with that and turned it into a colorful one using oil pastel. Like I say, uh, you can use color prints. It might be better if you're using color prints to go ahead and use white paper. But it was kind of fun doing this. And I just sort of put a little background in it and kind of a good time uh, putting a design on it. And I can't wait for the next video. Oh, before I forget, I need to go get my puppy. 
brisket's back to say hi. And, um, hi brisket, yes. And um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna be able to put her on my lap because she's just getting huge, right? And um, I think she likes being on camera. I, I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.